Hey there, everyone. It is Maria Young here, and I sure do thank you guys so much for hanging out with me right here at My Orchid Adventures. Now, you guys know that I have been on a major mission to transform my garden and also my grow space into a tropical orchid paradise where it is bold, it is beautiful, it is funky, it is groovy, and it is very artsy, and it is also very crafty. And I've been able to do that by getting some pretty awesome and amazing items for some pretty phenomenal deals and I've been able to do that by going to garage sales and yard sales, flea markets and thrift stores. You cannot believe what you can find and what you can use to spoof up your grow space and also your garden. And speaking of these adventures, I'm gonna take you on my latest one where we went to a community sale. So let's go ahead and check that out and let's do it right now. Bam, 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 and boom. Today I have a very exciting hunting adventure for you guys where we are going to be hunting for all sorts of stuff for our orchids, for our gardens, and also for our plants. And and one of the best places to find such items are at garage sales and yard sales, but there is even a better place, believe it or not, and that is when you can find community yard sales and garage sales. So that means you're going to go to a community where the entire neighborhood is going to be having garage sales. And as you can see, there's a line of cars trying to get into this neighborhood right here. This is one of the neighborhoods that I have gone to I think this is my third time and there are so many houses and again so many great deals you are going to be able to find all sorts of stuff at just a fraction of a cost so very excited to be here today and I'm glad you can join me and here's an actual list that they gave us with all of the addresses that are having yard sales and garage sales and as you can see there's garage sales all up and down this road <laughs> And as you guys seen, I had such a great time rummaging through some great finds because you guys know one man's junk is another man's treasure and I'm utilizing some things that people would not normally use for their gardens or grow space and we're gonna get pretty creative with them. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I got, some ways that we can use them and also some finished projects of how I'm using them now. Bam, bam, bam and boom and the very first items that I do have to show you today are these very beautiful decorative containers right here in three different sizes. Here's your small, your medium, and also your very large. And as we take a closer look, we will see that this is actually glassware. You're also going to notice some very nice detail in there, nice pattern right there, and also a very elegant design on the actual container itself. Now, what I do love the most about this is the fact that it is so glossy and shiny and the fact that if you look really close you are going to notice that foiling in there as well so definitely very elegant design on these glass containers and the very best part about these three elegant containers right here is the fact that I only got them for two buckaroonies that's right all three of these beautiful pieces what a steal and what a deal. I also got these cones right here, which are actually cones that are used for youth sports during exercises and drills. But if we take a closer look at these actual cones, you will see that it has a pretty neat look and also design to them with all of those slits and throughout the actual cone itself. 
Also at the top you're seeing those pre-made holes which would make it so simple to have this as a hanging pot. And indeed you could simply make this into a plant container by putting some sort of liner in there to hold the media and of course drilling a hole right through here. So yes, this would make a very colorful, very delightful container for your plants or for your orchids. And right here we've taken the cone and added some polka dots just to give it an artsy crafty look. And then I went ahead and cut off the base of the actual cone. And then we made holes in here and attached the M hooks, which as you can see, makes it very easy to hang, voila. And these cones right here would normally cost about $2 for a set of four in each pack. And I actually got three packs for $2 and I got six of these. So I only paid $4 for a pack of six of these. So indeed, great savings and great deals. And I have so many plant containers, so many ideas too. And speaking of artsy crafty, I found this plastic cup like container right here for a mere quarter right here quarter Rooney right there. And as you can see, I took the other one that I found and I made it into this artsy and very funky plant container right here. And as you can see, all I did was make those holes at the very bottom. And again, added my M hook and it is ready to beautify my garden in such an artsy way. Now this container right here I actually got from the dollar store but I wanted to show you how you can transform this into a very creative pot as well by simply just adding some acrylic paint and then some form of sealant which I use polyurethane to seal the design. So indeed another creative container right here and very easy to make. I also got three beautifully designed bottles and these are the other two right here. And by simply attaching wire to it, you can maneuver it to where it'll be easy to hang. And I did pay one buckaroonie for all three, which indeed adds a splash of color to your tropical display. Now these right here are what we call pool noodles and you commonly will see children playing with these inside of pools. It's a styrofoamy type of material that it's made from and as you can see it also has a nice electrifying neon color to it as well. Now I got all four of these for a dollar. It was such a great deal. I couldn't pass it up and I figured that I know I could put it to good use not sure what yet so if you guys have any ideas please be sure to share and folks if i can't find any use for these pool noodles right here i won't take it as a loss because what makes these pool noodles so great is that they don't leave any markings no bruisings no scarrings no nothing so what that means for me is if hubby starts acting up and tells me no i can't get any more orcas well bam bam pool noodles upside the head. That's right, I said it. And like I said, no scarring, no bruises, no markings, and no evidence. Mm -hmm. I can't even begin to tell you how thrilled I was to find this stack of these colorful tin buckets right here with amazing color, amazing pattern, and amazing messages escape reality and that's exactly what I do whenever I go into my garden and my grow space. This one says be happy. Yes indeed that's the only way to live life and have fun. Yay! And that is why I am transforming my garden so that it'll be more colorful and indeed full of Fun. And these nice sized buckets right here, I have to tell you, are my most favorite finds of the day. They do make such wonderful containers for your plants. All you simply have to do is make those drainage holes and they are simply good to go. And I actually got eight of these for $3. So indeed, less than 50 cents each. What a great and beautiful deal. And looky here, folks. Guess what the cat drug in? Indeed, we have yet another beautiful and wonderful bird cage right here. You guys know I am an absolute fanatic when it comes to using bird cages 
for plant arrangements. They definitely give such a unique and very creative look, enticing the viewer to take an even closer look. So I do love bird cages. Now this particular bird cage, I only paid two buckaroonies. So indeed a great and fabulous deal for yet another beautiful and wonderful plant container. And this right here, folks, is my most phenomenal find of the day. And what you're looking at is actually the shelvings of a shelf unit. And these are very heavy metal right here, very sturdy and sound. And let me tell you, these stand at about six feet tall. I actually got eight of these and all eight were for $5. So let me go ahead and show you exactly what I'm gonna be using them for. So what I'm actually using these shelvings for that stand and at a good six feet tall, I'm using them as panels where they're acting as trellises and they're building a wall where I can actually have a vertical garden. So yes, indeed, I'm using these panels throughout my garden and I am creating a wall where I can hang up all sorts of decorations and planters. And when it's all said and done, this should be such a gorgeous display. And all we've done here, folks, is we've taken rebarb and we've used them as sturdy metal stakes where we've hammered them deeply into the ground. And then we went ahead and used tie wrap to simply tie them in place. And I actually have three of them to go ahead and stake up this panel so that they'll be sturdy and stable against the winds. And I do have to tell you, I am just absolutely over the moon to be able to find these shelvings right here, which I am totally going to utilize each and every one of them throughout my garden. And this is just such a wonderful and beautiful start to my garden transformation. I do hope that you guys will stick around and follow me through my entire process of transforming my garden because I do got to tell you I am so excited to see what we can come up with. And I don't know if you guys remember this container right here that I made out of that expandable foam right here. And as you can see, I haven't decided exactly what to put into my foam container yet, but that is also going to be on the way in my next adventures as we transform my garden. And then you guys do remember these decorative items right here and sun catchers that we easily made as well. If you guys didn't see that video and wanna check it out, please make sure to click right here. It'll take you to that video. And I did give you some pretty creative ideas, easy to make ideas on top of that. So definitely check that video out if you haven't yet already. And speaking of which, here's one of those decorative pieces that I'm making as well. This is very customized to what I like. And these are just jewelry pieces and pins that have some serious bling blinga going on right here. And indeed, this is just customized to what I like. And you definitely can do that. Put whatever you want into your pieces and make it absolutely your own. And as you can also see, I did go a little bit shape shape for some planted plantes and indeed I'm excited to get these potted up as well in my very creative decorative and artsy containers and that'll be a whole lot of fun to watch them grow and definitely fill out those containers and just beautify my garden. Okay, folks, and here we are. I have all of my plants potted up in these very bright, very bold, very creative containers, as you can see right here. And I am just absolutely thrilled with the results that I've gotten thus far. You guys know that I am aiming for a vertical garden within my garden. So indeed, I'm excited to see that everything is turning out well so far. Now, mind you, this may not be the way that it stays. We may make stuff up as we go. So we might do some rearranging here and there and everywhere. But this indeed is gonna give us an idea of what we're expecting to get. Also, mind you, this is only but three panels. I actually have five more panels left to go. So I'm very excited to see exactly what ideas we're gonna come up with and what type of outcome we are going to get. So definitely stay tuned for more guys. There's so much more in store.
have it, folks. That is the way that we are transforming our growth space so that we can be just a little bit groovy, just a little bit funkified, and also to be fun, bold, bright, and beautiful. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to be able to come into my garden and literally feel the bright colors, literally have fun with the bold patterns. I wanted to come in here and relish the visual treat that I get when I'm in my garden. Now physically I have fun when I'm tending to my plants and my orchids, but I want to visually be intrigued and also have fun visually as well. So yes indeed, this entire display right here is such a treat to me and I have to tell you it is already transforming into such a wonderful tropical and very fun paradise. Now you guys are going to have to let me know exactly what you think about some of these finds that I got today. And also let me know if you guys are venturing into sprucing up your grow space as well. Definitely let me know what projects you guys have on the way. Would love to hear about them and perhaps even get some creative ideas from you guys. And I do thank you guys so much for allowing me to share my love and my passion with you. And I'm hoping that you've liked this video and perhaps it's inspired you as well. If you did like this video, please be sure to like, share, and also subscribe. And make sure you go ahead and hit that notification button so you guys will know exactly when I do post a new video. And also make sure you guys join me on Facebook and also Instagram at My Orchid Adventures. And with that being said, you guys are ready know I do truly love and appreciate each and every one of you guys and I will see you guys later and I'll also grow with you guys later as well. Bye bye for now. Mwah.